Hello and welcome to the session friends. Today we are going to discuss about expanding EBS root volume of a Linux instance. Let's suppose a situation where you got uh, 10 GB of uh, root volume but that is not sufficient for your data. In that case you can always expand it by creating snapshot of your existing volume and attaching that will take outage friends. Okay I have listed the steps which we will be following and I am performing all steps using AWS CLI. First you have to stop your application or database or any other processes running or your instance. Then power off the instance. Then take snapshot of your existing root disk. After that detach the existing root disk. Then we have to create a new volume with the larger size from the snapshot which we just took. After that we have to set delete on termination flag true. What it mean? Uh, whenever you delete your instance that operating system volume or root volume will be automatically deleted because we are creating this volume manually so we have to set this flag otherwise it's a default for new EC2 instances. After that uh, we have to attach the new higher size root volume to the instance then simply power on the instance. So we are going to cover these technically now. Okay. So I'm just logging into my EC2 instance. Okay, if you see here, current size is 11 GB, or you can check it with FDisk, or you can run LSPLK. This is 11 GB drive XVDA. That's a slash dev slash SDA one on the Amazon side, but on OS it is appearing as XVDA due to Zen virtualization or Zen hypervisor. So now the task which I'm going to do, I'm going to expand this 11 GB drive to 15 GB. Okay, let's begin friends. Uh, first thing we need to know instance ID. To know instance ID, you can run uh, describe instances, sorry, AWS EC2 describe instances. Piping it to more. Okay, so this is the instance ID, friends, and this is the existing volume ID here in EBS section. This is a drive which is connected to this particular instance and this is the volume ID. Okay, now as I said, first thing you have to stop your application. In my case, uh, that instance is not having any running application. So I'm going to power off this instance directly. Okay, it's stopping, so it will take a couple of seconds. Then I'm just keeping this volume ID because I have to take snapshot of existing volume ID. Okay, to take snapshot, I will get command ready, AWS EC2, sorry, yeah, AWS EC2, create snapshot, then the volume ID, this is the volume ID and uh, I'm just giving description to my snapshot. You can put anything. I'm just putting root snap of this particular instance. Okay, before firing this command, you have to make sure your instance is down. You can run it, there is no harm, but again, that's the best practice to ensure your instance is in down state. Okay, so to check your instance state, uh, you can run describe instances command again, and at the end, uh, you will get your instance state here. Here, there will be state flag. 
okay if you see the state is stopped so instance is stopped it means we are good to take snapshot i'm taking snapshot of root volume pressing enter here okay snapshot creation is going on so we have to wait a couple of minutes if you see this is the x this is the size of existing volume so snapshot size will be 11 gb again i'm using free tier uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to detach and delete my existing volume but uh, what's recommendation you keep your existing volume till the time you get confirmed that uh, snap is absolutely working because i have did this activity a lot of time so i'm a bit comfortable i'm deleting my existing volume immediately because i don't want to go beyond 30 tb of free tier otherwise amazon will start uh, charging me so let's check the state of this particular snap okay i'm describing snapshot uh, with uh, this particular owner ID, if you see snap state is completed, it means uh, I can uh, detach and delete my existing volume. So this was the volume for which we created snapshot. To detach it, AWS EC2 detach volume, then volume ID. Here volume ID pressing enter. Okay, it's detaching. Let's get uh, delete command ready. So same command only it will detach will change with delete. You can fire this command if uh, detach process still in progress. It will give you error, but it was finished. So volume is deleted. So now friends, uh, next task we have to create a new volume from the snapshot which we just took. To create a new volume from snapshot, uh, you have to use AWS EC2 create volume and you have to specify snap ID. Uh, this is our snap ID, this particular one and size. Okay, if you don't specify size, it will create a volume of uh, 11 GB again, but we need higher size volume. And that's the whole purpose of this activity. Uh, let's say we want to create 15 GB volume. I'm specifying size 15 and after that uh, you have to put uh, availabilities on so just keep availabilities on same of your existing volume or your instance where you're going to attach it it's my existing instance in us west 2b so i'm using that one so this command will create 15 gb volume so i'm just uh, summarizing Existing volume was of 11 GB. We have created a snapshot which was created uh, by default 11 GB as of existing volume size. Then we have deleted, uh, detached and deleted our existing volume. As I said, don't delete the volume or actual volume until you make sure your snapshot and uh, new volume size uh, is working perfectly. So I did this intentionally because i don't want to go beyond 30 tb fear free tier limit of amazon ebs okay so it's still creating let's check what's the state of snap now oh, sorry uh, you can check the state of volume aws ec2 describe volume dash dash volume id this is a new volume id friends if you see it created standard volume type if you a recommendation is to use gp2 but uh, uh, that's a default if you don't specify any volume time type here then it will go with the standard which is a default one here i did mistake it's describe okay so if you see instance is created and it's available if you see this state and uh, this particular volume was created from the snapshot okay now next step we have to attach this volume to the instance to do that uh, we have to run we need to know ec2 instance id first so here is our instance id 
this is the instance id okay aws ec2 attach volume minus minus volume id this is the volume id then we have to tell to which instance this need to be attached a single volume can be attached to one instance only you can't attach to a single ebs volume to multiple instances and then you have to tell as which device you want to attach it this is root so device it will be dev sda1 okay so attaching is going on so let's describe volume again it, it will show that this volume is attached or still in progress you see here this is in use now so it's attached state so it means friends uh, the primary work is done now we have to boot our instance so i'm going to just replace stop with start i'm booting my instance one good thing about uh, Linux AMI is uh, you don't need to do any manual stuff like file system resizing or using resize to fs command. It will be automatically done once your instance boots up. In case you are using uh, or going to use this particular procedure for any non root volume which is an LVM in that case you have to do PV resize your LV resize then resize to FS or grow XFS depending upon your file system that's a separate thing but uh, for root devices this procedure will work so okay uh, instance is booting up I believe it will take a couple of seconds I'm just pausing this video okay, let's try instance should be up now Friends, I have booted instance, but uh, it is uh, not going through. SSH is not working. So what I am suspecting that uh, because I am not using my own VPC, I am using Amazon's public uh, IP addresses. Once you shut down your instance and boot it up, uh, so there are chances uh, your instance will get new IP address or you can say public IP. So let's check what is the public IP of this instance now. I'm just scraping a public IP word. Nothing returned, so it means I did something just grab public. Okay. Oh, friends, if you see access earlier, the IP was uh, this one, but now IP is changed. So this is a new public IP of same instance. So let's log into this instance. I'm just changing IP here. Pressing enter. It should be going through now. Yes. Okay, we are logged in and this is our same server, AWS lab server. I'm running df minus h. Okay, good thing. If you see uh, now size is 15 GB, which is earlier 11 GB. So resize to fs automatically taken care on the instance boot so that's easy friends that's a easy procedure you can use it for resizing your linux instances in case you have any query or any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thanks a lot friends